All right, so, Doc, uh, yesterday, 75,267 cases of COVID in this country. New, 932 people died. Does that have to happen? This doesn't need to be happening. Uh, we continue to focus exclusively, essentially, on the vaccines. And that, that's important, absolutely. But we have had, uh, for months and months now, since the middle of last year, other options on the table, as you've mentioned, frequent use of rapid tests, which themselves can help to stop the spread of outbreaks and stop them from becoming uh, outbreaks and continuing to spread across this country. Well, I have, uh, you were kind enough to send me a step-by-step -step guide for COVID-19 self-testing. This is a, a British uh, document. You sent me a bunch of them. I do it every morning. I want to be sure that I'm not going to get anybody sick. Why don't corporations do this? Because if they did it, holy cow, things would come down massively. Yeah, well, many, many companies uh, around the world are starting to do this. Many governments are actually starting to use frequent testing as a means out of this pandemic. In the United States, we've been quite slow to get these types of tests authorized. We've been overly cautious about potentially putting a frequent test in people's homes. Uh, we should have been able to make these accessible and available to all Americans many months ago. These are simple to use tests. There's a whole plethora of different kinds of these tests that are now available across the world. And the US just needs to really start thinking through other means to keep this virus under control besides a sole focus on uh, the vaccine, which as we know is working, uh, but it's not going to be an immediate overnight uh, solution here. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at cnbc.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.